no sunshine when she's gone and she's gone for way too long anytime that she rolls away smiling on a rainy day thinking about the way her lips felt on my was cold that day We were at my place You asked if you could stay On that rainy day Is the way to learn. Tomando mi cafecito. How was the trailer day? Did you like the trailer? <laughs> dark. Who did he, who, where did you get all this darkness from? We just watched the film, the premiere, which was really special. I felt it was very different to see it with an audience as opposed to seeing it, um, you know, without. But it was, it was really special, Ale. And Ale said something along the lines of, you know, your childhood trauma and kind of going through that experience and kind of knowing that your parents also have trauma um, and that we're all human and trying our best, but the things that we experience are real. But at the end, we really do prevail, and it's really beautiful, and I, I was so emotional, Ali. I was, yeah. The the biggest um, inspiration that I have as well, because she inspired me, was Gal Gadot's like, Wonder Woman in 2017. I watched that movie in theaters, um, and after that, I cut a little um, <clears throat> photo of her doing stunts in, in her Wonder Woman outfit, and I put her on my vision board. And mm. I was like, that's what I want. That's, I want to, I belong there as well. She, her representation allowed me to believe that I could be that as well. And um, now she texts me, and um, that is a wild thing to experience. There's so many vibes in this outfit. I would definitely wear this at the beach. I love wearing a lot of menswear. I love wearing baggier clothing. Linen is definitely a piece of clothing that I like to wear for summer. It's fresh and flowy. I love suits. I am a girl who loves to wear suits. I feel very comfortable and confident. It's very me. This outfit reminds me of my mom. In an all-white suit, she just thinks I look stunning for some reason. I think it'd be really cute as a date look. I feel the most comfortable in this outfit. I love this outfit. This is a polo jacket and it's kind of cropped, which I love. I would do anything in this outfit, really. I would hang out with friends or taking some photos, maybe cruising on a skateboard. It's so cool that I love it. I got a random audition one day. It said untitled Warner Brothers film. Um, I had like two other auditions that day. And you know, I pretty much, you know, my manager called me and she's like, hey, you really like this, this, this one specific one is just so you. I'd been boxing for three years. I, I really love action. I've always been in love with action. Um, in 2017, I actually watched Wonder Woman when it came out. And around that time, I, I, I cut, um, a little picture of her doing a stunt in a, in a green screen. And I put her on my vision board um, along with like Charlize Theron for Atomic Blonde actually. And so my team knew that I wanted like action and, and after watching Wonder Woman, I was just so, um, and I, I say this because I think representation matters in the way that I saw her on the screen as a superhero. And I was like, that is what I wanna do. As Wonder Woman, I, I knew that I wanted to do what she was doing and 
you know, I told her uh, when I saw you, and this is why I feel representation matters, because when I saw a woman on screen in that way, I knew that I could too. And Describe playing Supergirl in one word. Cool. Funny moment on set. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. Um, me and Eunice uh, slid down the bat slide. How does it feel being part of the DC universe? Incredible. Describe flying scenes in three words. Hard, epic, wind in my face. What's Supergirl's favorite cheat meal? Burgers and french fries, because that's my What's uh, your favorite Colombian dish? Pan de uno. Coffee or tea? Coffee. What's your coffee order? Oat latte. First thing you do when you wake up? Make my oat latte. If you can be another DC superhero or villain, who would you be? Batman. If you could have another superhero, what would it be? Invisibility. Favorite on set snack? Almonds. Uh, what's your favorite novella? Passion de Gavilanes. One thing you always carry with you? My film camera recently a lot. Describe the flash in one word. Epic. Hi, hi. I just want to say thank you to Gal for sending me this. These are some goodos. Full of mac and cheese in here. Look at that. Thank you so much. You are the coolest. Being with, with big dreams, um, you know, how many people told me that it was impossible? So, so many people. And I think that moment was also a moment of self-love for myself. Yes. Yes. Um, because I, I, I was like, thank you, Sasha, for believing in yourself, mm. for pushing hard, for doing all these jobs, for, for believing that you could do things that feel greater. Um, and that was just a moment of like, I love you, thank you, and um, we deserve that. You know, we deserve yeah. those moments, and that's why it's so real. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't even believe it. You know, yeah, it's, it's, you yeah. felt, you truly felt like Supergirl at that moment. Yeah, which well, well, so you the superhero. JC said when he watched it, he said, "We just watched somebody's life get changed forever." Yeah, right. And that video, that yeah. moment. To kill the king upon his throne, I'm ready for. What did you do? I met him after I finished the movie and we briefly met. I gave him a hug. He is so sweet and so kind. I was like, did you, did I make you proud? Did, did I make you proud? And he was like, absolutely, you killed it. And that meant a lot to me. Emotional things I've ever been told. I and mean, it, he's like, Henry Cavill. Fun. It's really beautiful. It's still very surreal for me, you know? I'm just so, a human being, you know, with, with the feelings and dreams, and I'm lucky enough to be sitting here with you. Um, but I just hope that they can see themselves in, in, in this character, even though she's a little angry um, in this <laughs> film. But, um... You're gonna put me, the fans are gonna murk me. <laughs> Wonder Woman is, is my queen. I, I love her. I watch everything that she's in. So Ben Affleck was uh, the Batman that I saw a lot of, which was, was really cool to see him again. My turn. All the Batmans are really, really cool. Christian Bale is, is iconic. It ends here. This role was written in the stars for me and I really believe that the universe does magical things and everyone has a, a great iteration of their character. When I worked on The Flash, uh, it was a dream for me to do all my stunts, mm. but I didn't think that I was going to be able to do it. Um, it was my first film, and our stunt coordinator, Eunice, I remember she was like, 
up in these stairs and I looked up at her and I said, where's my stunt double? She's like, you don't need one. I was like, well, don't we need one legally? (laughs) (laughs) And we did end up um, having someone there with us. Am I gonna break? But no, but it was my dream and I, I trained so hard and it was so amazing to have, again, it's so amazing to have female leaders it's just so beautiful because they support and believe in your strength um and Eunice supported that the whole way through and and that was something for me that was I I couldn't believe that I was doing it and I ended up doing all my stunts which was awesome for me you crush that role thank you thank you thank you you already know thank you when I saw Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman, I was like, she's a woman, she's on the big screen, she's a, a tough, beautiful superhero. I can do that as well. She gave me that, right? And I think just being here and existing, it's it's an honor and a, a joy, but that's my hope, right? Is that people can, can, who relate to me or see themselves in me, that they can be like, we belong there as well. And those dreams are definitely achievable. And And I say dreams exist for a reason, you know? Dreams exist so that we can live them. I have her here with me. Okay, so what's her, I understand you have a name for her now. Oh, well, okay. (laughs) Yesterday I was like, you know, my publicist was like, where's Supergirl? I'm like, oh, Smalls. And he's like, oh my God, that's her name, Smalls. Um, So (laughs) one of her nicknames is Smalls. Um, I love it. But I I love her, I take her everywhere with me. It's just such a joy and such a constant, wow uh, moment and I think her cape also makes everyone turn into a child like okay. everyone will grab it and they'll go like psh, psh. and for me that is like <laughs> so beautiful and honest um, so I love yeah. it I take her everywhere because I'm like you know she just brightens up smalls brightens up the room Escape to me, I guess now means to be present. Life can get so chaotic that when I escape, I want to be present, you know? I think nature is a big thing. The sea is something really special. And jumping in the ocean is a lot of fun and can ground you, you know? Especially if it's really cold. When I first got my car, I would drive miles and miles up the PCH and I'd pick a beach and I'd just run into the ocean. And I always take my phone camera with me everywhere and so I would take a lot of photos. And I also blast music in my car while I'm driving and the wind is hitting my face and my hair. I don't know, it's very healing. It's just the sense of complete freedom and presence that I don't need anything else but myself in that moment. Everything is just so beautiful and so cool. And I think it's a it's it's an homage to the fans as well. I think that the fans are really gonna walk in there and be like, yes. Because of the flash, because of Barry Allen's um, grief in a way, when he kind of breaks everything and the multiverse commences. There's this thing that Andy was allowed to do, and Christina Hudson, the writer as well, you can bring in from any, and I am a superhero uh, nerd, like fan, you know? So, you know, meeting Michael Shannon, getting to, to do this sort of Man of Steel um, moment in a way, to be in the Batcave and to be in like an actual larger version 